Blues fans TV, Chelsea 2, Tottenham 1. I got Lawrence here finally. Lawrence, perfect game to come down for. Yeah, I'm so gassed. I'm so gassed. I mean, I know Rutman didn't come on, but just the fact that I, when I heard yesterday he was going to be on the bench, I was like, we're winning. It's brilliant. Everything's brilliant immediately. You know, I was, it was so sick. I mean, when I saw the lineup, I was like, what on earth is happening here? I didn't think 3 4 3 works without Kante. I thought Jorginho and Kovacic didn't have enough pace to make that happen for an Not entire enough. game. Exactly. I still think we kind of struggle with this second half a little bit. Um, but overall, it worked brilliantly. I mean, the whole back three, in my opinion, was brilliant. Really good. Christensen and Aspilicueta, I thought they were all brilliant. Alonso scored. Brilliant goal. Still the worst player on our team. Um, don't know how he constantly does it. Didn't complete a single cross. Tried two and lost every fucking ball he could have. Like, it makes me so angry. But he scored a brilliant goal. So what can I say? Um, yeah, Jorginho, I thought, was brilliant. His through ball to Giroud before the goal in the end happened. Brilliant through ball. A bit like the Watford one. Really like that. Fair play to Giroud for also getting on the end of it, considering I'm constantly slate him for being so slow. <laughs> so fair play. Reese James had a good game. I was happy with him. But i got to go back to Giroud. I mean, we had the problems with Mishi Bachuai last week. Yeah, OK, we learned that maybe Giroud wasn't fit to actually play or start against um, United on Monday yet physically. But it's such a difference. It's such a difference. To be honest, even Tammy came on. I was like, Giroud's 10 times better. It's <laughs> because Giroud offers a lot more outside of the 18-yard box. Michi's best strength is meant to be finishing in the box. But Monday, we didn't even see that. Exactly. And I mean, that, you see a little bit of a difference when Caballero is a goal and when Kepa is a goal because we constantly just put it long. So obviously, it is better when you have Giroud for that. Because Tammy, even though he's tall, he, doesn't re he kind of struggles with that anyways. But... Like, it was just good. I thought everyone bar Alonso was absolutely brilliant today. Like, I can't fault any of them. Of course, we conceded late on. But at the end of the day, except that it was, nerv uh, that it was a bit nervy, I was just, like, it was just good. And um, you can just hope that we can kick on from here because, I mean, we beat them in December and then we haven't really gotten particularly great results since then. So now let's try it to... screams we need to build consistency, don't we? Yeah, no, it really does. Consistency has always been a problem. And, yeah, it's easy to get yourself, you know, pumped up and everything for the Spurs game. But we need to, like, have this kind of drive and intensity in most games we don't have that but today i have absolutely nothing to fault i mean i thought we could have made a couple of subs a bit earlier maybe than we did so i thought we started to struggle especially when they switched to a back four that's when we late on we struggled a bit more so before anyone says you know we have to play three for three every game again no we don't the only reason yeah the only reason it works is because they also play three for three so as much as jose before the game said i know what lineup they're gonna play stop honking your horn um there's not even a way out <laughs> um he knows what team we're going to play. I'm like, so why did you go three at the back then? Because that's the only thing that three at the back works for us. Um, you saw it against Wolves. Okay, it didn't work against Arsenal. I'm not sure whether Arsenal in that game against us played three at the back. But it worked in the other game against Spurs, who also went three at the back, kind of. So that's the only way it works. So I don't want to see it against Bournemouth. You know, maybe against Bayern is something we could think about. They also, Bayern also played a 3-4-3 on the weekend in their Bundesliga game. So maybe in that. But against Bournemouth, don't be coming at me with a three at the back. Like, sod on. Um, but yeah, you know, what can I say? I'm absolutely gassed. I hope Ruben's back soon as well. I hope, you know, generally our injuries just stop because injury FC, I've had enough of it now. Let's just, just kick on from here, get some good results because it's just been really, really frustrating. We win a game like Spurs, like in December, and we bought it the next game. And then we win again, and then we bought it the next game. Well, then we get a draw, and then we bought it again. Like, it just needs to stop. We need to get on a winning run. And it was good for top four as well, this win now. Um, so like I said, let's hope we can kick on and... Yeah, it's happened again. It's happened again. <laughs>